Hello, I'm Chief Terrans Lee with Beaver Lane Fire and Rescue out of Marshville, North Carolina. Uh, we chose SDI to replace our existing rescue truck. Uh, we just ran out of space and at the top with different vendors, we chose SDI because they provide the best product for us. Uh, front bumpers will carry our hydraulic cutter spreader and ram. We also had the bumper design to also carry our rescue jack struts in the front bumper along with the rhino windshield cutter <coughs> and uh, our rescue blankets and, and our rescue crash kit. Uh, we also have on the front bumper uh, portable winch receivers. Uh, we have one in the very front, front and then we have two on each side. So if we can't get angled in just perfect, we can pull from the side if we need to need another anchor point for our winch. All right, we chose to go with the Spartan Gladiator uh, chassis for our new heavy rescue. Uh, we've also got storage spaces here. Our New York hooks will go on the inside of the door and then we'll have additional space to store different tools and equipment inside right here. We also have storage inside. We have flashlights and our hydraulic batteries, uh, reciprocating salt batteries will, will be stored in this compartment along with some medical supplies. This is a climate control uh, compartment where we'll be able to blow uh, cold and uh, hot air inside depending on the weather. This next compartment will have all our paratech, heavy stabilization and lifting products in it. We'll have base plates here, struts, <coughs> on the inside or the outside of the door. We have additional struts and base plates that will be able to be stored on the inside. We went with the command light tower. We went to the new uh, eight head light tower, the Octolite. And once again, we all the controls are right here. That we can run the tower. From, one person can set the tower up. You can never have enough light. So that's why we chose to go with this new light tower. So. We could have maximum light for you today and years down the road. All right, the next compartment that we're coming to open it up will be uh, another another set of hydraulics, extrication equipment. Uh, we'll have hydraulics in the bottom compartment. <coughs> we'll have another set in this uh, second compartment also. The we'll slide out. We're still mounting our where all our flashlights will go. This will be our flashlight tray right here. The top compartment will have all our battery power reciprocating saws, uh, corded saws, all blades, extra blades, and everything will be in this compartment right here. Next compartment. Uh, we'll have uh, miscellaneous storage right here. We're actually going to have this tray uh, brought down all the way, all the way to the uh, frame, so we can get maximum storage up. They don't have to reach so high for the equipment. We have storage in the fender wells for SCBA bottles, air, uh, and fire extinguishers. We we'll also have a. Uh, junction box. Uh, we have standard plug-ins, which is typically you don't see that a lot, but we want to go standard with that. Our floor jack and car dollies that we move vehicles with uh, will be stored in these, these three bins right here. Last compartment on the street side is street side five. Uh, We have an air reel, uh, we have an air chisel pre-connected, ready to go at all times. Our chain holders uh, will go right here. All our chain will be situated in this area. Our grip force will be down here along with the cable and everything. Small and loose hand tools uh, will be in uh, soft bags in these two compartments right here. We also have additional uh, a fourth tray up top that's a slide out tilt they just haven't installed it yet. So. Also we'll have another attachment point for our uh, portable winch. 
so we have multiple different places we can attach up with our winch. Okay, now we're getting ready to walk up the stairway to look at additional equipment that will be stored up top. First compartment here we have that we can that our ladders we can store our 24 foot roof ladder inside. This compartment right here will, will carry our wood cribbing. Uh, we used to keep it all down low, but we hardly ever pulled that much off uh, on actual pin jobs. So what we did, or what we're doing, we're bringing a lot of our cribbing up top to create maximum space down low instead of having just one whole compartment down low. All of our gas powered equipment is going to go into this coffin compartment here. Once again, this truck is not is usually not the first truck on scene. So as far as chainsaws, uh, gas powered fans, things of that nature, we're going to bring this up here instead of having. Once again, we want to create maximum space down low. So this is why we brought it up here. It works for us. Up front, here's the light tower that we talked about, one of the new light towers that just came out, uh, or the new light heads that just came out, so uh, we're, we're really impressed with this thing so far, so hopefully it'll give us a lot of long years of great service. Next to the apartment, C5, we'll have our better CTEC bag stored here, uh, miscellaneous equipment go right here. And we have our fuel station for our, all our SCBA bottles. Another uh, air reel with another uh, air chisel that'll be pre-connected at all times. And you can, as you can see, our actual we have six uh, DOT SCBA, SCBA fuel bottles in the back back here. Curve four. More miscellaneous equipment over here. Uh, we, we haven't decided what's going in here yet, but once again, we have space to grow in to the Florida future. We have another junction box, and as you see, we have another attachment point for our winch once in this spot right here also. And these leaders, they actually extend out also so we can get away from the body and not uh, scratch the body of the truck. Here. Here the first three, once again, same thing as our uh, three ones. Find all the way out to transverse layer. As you see, why we have to, we're going to have to lower it down some because right now we can't reach it with what we need, so we got to lower it all the way down. That will be a process that SDI does before we take the truck. Here we go. Just about be the same as uh, Street One. All the difference is we haven't decided what's going on these two top trays, but another set of hydraulics will go in both of these trays right here. And we have additional storage that's going to be further in on the truck also. So we have a ton of storage that we can go into uh, for future growth. Third one, we have four two boards. We have rescue jacks uh, along with the lifting jacks on these two boards right here, on two of the two boards. Once again, the other two will be empty for now. Additional equipment that we'll be able to go into. So we'll have some halogen and things of that nature uh, loaded onto the uh, two boards also.